Debri Hayamin Bet chapter 8. And it came to be at the end of 20 years that Shlomo had built the house of Yah in his own house. As to the cities which Huram had given to Shlomo, Shlomo had built them, and he settled the children of Israel there. And Shlomo went to Hamad Zobah and took hold of it. And he built Tadmor in the wilderness and all the storage cities which he built in Hamath. And he built Upper Beth Horon and Lower Beth Horon, cities of defense with walls, gates, and bars. Also Baalath and all the storage cities that Shlomo had and all the chariot cities and the cities of Calvary and all that Shlomo desired to build in Yerushalayim and in Lebanon and in all the land of his rule. All the people who were left of the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hewites and the Yebusites who were not of Israel, their descendants who were left in the land after them, whom the children of Israel did not destroy. From these, Shlomo raised compulsory labor as it is to this day. And Shlomo did not make slaves of the children of Israel for his work, but they were men of battle and chiefs of his officers and commanders of his chariots and his cavalry. And these were the chiefs of the officials of sovereign Shlomo, 250 who ruled over the people. And Shlomo brought the daughter of Pharaoh up from the city of Dawid to the house he had built for her. For he said, My wife does not dwell in the house of Dawid, sovereign of Israel, for the place where the ark of Yah has come is set apart. Then Shlomo offered ascending offerings to Yah on the slaughter place of Yah, which he had built before the porch, even as the duty of every day required, offering according to the command of Moshe for the Sabbaths and for the new moons and for the appointed times three times a year, the festival of Matzot and the festival of Shabuot and the festival of Sukkot. And according to the ruling of Dawid, his father, he appointed the divisions of the priests for their service, the Lewites for their duties, to praise and serve before the priests, as the duty of each day required, and the gatekeepers by their divisions at each gate. For so was the command of Dawid, the man of Elohim. They did not turn aside from the command of the sovereign to the priests and Lewites concerning any matter or concerning the treasuries. And all the work of Shlomo was prepared from the day of the foundation of the house of Yah until it was completed. And the house of Yah was perfected. Then Shlomo went to Etzion Geber in Elioth on the sea coast in the land of Edom. And Huram sent him ships by the hand of his servants and servants who knew the sea. And they went with the servants of Shlomo to Ophir and took 450 talents of gold from there and brought it to Sovereign Shlomo.